don't know if they're warming up or they're gonna go right into it. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, they're, 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 they're I said, what were we saying? Margwas is the green one? I'm pretty sure yeah, Margwas is green. So I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna match. I'd much rather be a different matchup, but I do know this matchup can't be hyped. Uh, I think you have to you have to really appreciate the small things. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, appreciate the snipes. Yeah, it's a very read heavy matchup as opposed to just like My no. like little things like that. You saw um you saw Alvin or Margwas rather uh, dash back and dash forward to bait Alvin's up tilt. And and this is Alvin. It's Alvin hard to bait. So you have to take little things like that. So something interesting, uh, I think that these two Pika players have very different styles. I was talking to Professor Pro, uh, Wizard about it, and um, Margwas excels in his micro spacing. Uh, if you're in a tech situation, if he has you on the ropes, he is going to push it all the way. Whereas when I play Alvin, it feels like this man uh, shifts away at stage. Um, he could be nowhere near me, it's just the way he places his hitboxes, even if he's not hitting me, I feel like I'm being hit with space. Uh, and he like pushes me into a corner. Really yeah, when I play Alvin, my best, like, what I feel like is I feel lost. Like, I feel like I don't know where I should go. I don't know where I can see. So I'm completely Um, dude, but Mario Watts is, uh, is kind of going in right now. Um, we talked about uh, play styles about this top eight and how like some play styles just like, naturally counter others. And um, you look at uh, Alvin, who like has consistently beat Broom the last several times they played. But we've seen him struggle versus Margwas, and it, it could just be a play style thing. Uh, I know both these players are some of the best uh, players that ever do it in terms of the players. Um, but it, we're not really seeing uh, Alvin win the neutral game versus Margwas at all. Yeah, you're not seeing like a landslide game. And honestly, it's hard to tell who looks uh, better right now. Apparently, the stocks are Margwas. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen anything, any crazy combos or crazy conversions yet. It's been a lot of just chip damage. Oh my god, that was so scary. Yeah. yeah, that's why I think it's not that hype to the commentary this match. But it is hype because it's Mario Gross now. That's why it's hype. Yeah. Yeah, these, these are like, um, there's a lot more to this matchup than just like, uh, like brain dead combos. Or, like, yeah, that's, that's, that's it, it's like if two players aren't hitting each other, it's not just them missing attacks. They're actively pushing uh, each other to the sides of the stage, um, fighting for neutral. Fighting for neutral. There's so much. Uh, like you really have to have like a mastery of smash to to like almost like follow what's going on, especially at this high of a level in a PK Um Dude, I gotta take a break to talk about it. Um, Alvin's getting wrecked. Alvin is straight up yes. getting bopped out here, but I and Alvin's been playing Peach and Dittos all day, so you know he's hot. Um, this is crazy. He all finally right. takes his first stock, dude. Three minutes. It took him three minutes to take a stock. Wow, I didn't even look at the time right now. Look at me. Think about it that way. So dude, yeah, think about that. He yeah. fought for 180 seconds. <laughs> he couldn't take a stock in three minutes. Um, Margo is just getting really good right now. Um, what do you think that, uh, that Alvin has to change? Honestly, I think Alvin really needs to kind of change his rhythm. I, I like, do, I um, think so too. Alvin kind of goes for, I feel like he's such a old school player that a lot of his, like, the way you explained it was like, you, really didn't, you feel like he's like far away from you again. You start getting hit by things. Yeah. It's because he's so good at reading and knowing what you're doing. So I feel like Alvin has to stop going to the old school reads against Mario and kind of just go with the new school space and keep staying really close and getting every tech read possible. Uh, right, Margross is like his uh, micro sequence, like you said, are really strong. So even if Alvin plays that way, it still kind of puts him at a disadvantage. He's like out of his element, he's playing more in Margross. So. Yeah, I think that Mar I think that um, Alvin needs to slow down and start camping or something. And I think you're really right. But now that you brought it up, the way Alvin plays against Margross, it feels like one of those player like uh, it's it's down to the players really about yeah. the style counter. Um, yeah, I think that Alvin excels when he makes his opponent come to you, and it kind of looks like he's going to Margwas. Margwas is a huge lead, I cannot believe this. Um, like Margwas, like I said, Margwas has been one of the only players to get set off Alvin, but this is, this is a big deal. Yeah, in five minutes of pass already, that's crazy. Doesn't feel like we've been watching this for five minutes. 
good forward air by Mario Bros. Honestly, I feel like Alvin, like, I feel like he doesn't DI at all or he's super DI. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have a fellow with the DI that Yeah. Oh, wow. Um. Dude, so we're seeing Mario Bros. Kind of, or, uh, excuse me, we see Alvin just trap Mario Bros. in the corner. I, Ooh, good grab. Good grab by uh, Alvin. I'm not a massive sun dress. <laughs> I guess we're replacing my fellow now with later. Dude, um, so I want to talk about, uh, Margwatt's has had a crazy lead this whole game, but it, it kind of looks like he's pushing it, um, and it looks like Alvin's trying to get it. And it's really crazy that to see Alvin getting bodied so hard, and then just saying, you know what, I am getting bodied, I need to switch it up, and just bring Dude, it Dude, yeah, a lot of players, a lot of players save their, like, switch up, or, like, their adaption for the middle, or, uh, in between games. But, dude, we're six minutes into this game, and we've seen a complete playstyle change from Alvin. In fact, uh, it's down to two stocks apiece, which was pretty unbelievable uh, three minutes ago. Yeah, it looked like a slaughter fest. It looked like there was it, no it hope. For a while, right now, dude. it looks like uh, Alvin is, like... Dude, based on the weight... Oh, God, that was almost six so recovery. Um, the way that Alvin has played the last two or three minutes, though, I wouldn't be surprised if he pushed the last hit scenario in this game. Yeah, um, I would love to see it put on the last stock, honestly. Because to reverse a lead so strong, like, dude, look, it's about to be easy. After a huge lead in the beginning of this game, Goose egg, dude, goose egg. it's down to the last stock. It is down to the last stock. one stock. It's goose egg, goose egg. And, and I just, oh, he grabs him off the edge. Let's go, bro. This is, uh, oh, dude, this is be huge. Ooh. Dude, Alvin, Alvin could have win this game after being down the whole time. All right, blood is definitely pumping to both the, in both the Dude, this, this will do right serious now. mental damage. If Margoss loses this, I think he will... Oh, oh. Wow, dude, oh, Alvin wins! Holy. Alvin, dude, Mario West is up like 5 to 2 at one point. I think he was the Alright, so if I'm Mario West right now, I'm thinking you have to just like forget that. Happens. Obviously, uh, think about uh, the options that Alvin chose to beat you and how he adapted. But you cannot you cannot say, okay, I just got wrecked in the last few minutes of the match. Uh, I can't believe I blew that lead. I can't believe I chose that you know? Yeah, exactly. I, I don't even want to call it Joby because Alvin's such a strong player no. that he just that adapts. Wasn't so. It wasn't that Margwas was doing anything incorrectly. Um, Alvin is just a monster at this game. I cannot believe he came back on that. That was, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. Man, this spacing on that. So the way you can really tell high-level players is how close they space together. Yeah, for sure. And uh, both of them, both them are just so close at all times. And that's what I love to see. Yeah, the um, I think like top players will get as close as they can to you without overextending, and then they know it. The the moments. Well, what a pivot! That was Dude. crazy. Even going into this game, Alvin is just a whole different monster than he was in the first two stocks of the previous game. This is this is bizarre to watch. Like, um, I, I'm hoping we don't see like a run back of Super Moon where Margoth kind of just gives up, uh, but Alvin is going in. Oh, what a fall through that platform! That was super smart by Alvin. Oh, great up air by Margoth. So uh, Margoth there won the up air forward air, which took like a bread and butter and peep. Uh, if you catch it, like Margoth put Alvin in the short hop, he does an up air to forward air, and usually you can grab, but Alvin was able to DI. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Alvin doesn't really DI too much, but then sometimes he does that super DI and he does get out of it. Dude, um, <laughs> Alvin's up two stocks. If you look, look at like what Alvin has done in his in his last like one or two stocks that he's played Margoth with, he, he's barely doing it. Uh, assuming we, we what? I can't believe this. What an adaption by Alvin. Um, and dude, and the confidence too. Like he's in Margoth's head. He read that roll in, uh, and it's not like he read the roll in with like a grab or like, no. like something. He read it with an up smash. Up smash. He read it with an up smash. Um, I'm interested to see, so, uh, let's say Mario Ross gets totally bopped here, and he gets, like, 3-0'd or something. I wonder, I wonder if in Losers, um, he, he will, like, be angry and, like, try to, you know, play super good. Or if he'll be kind of, like, shot and just, like, I don't know, like, kind of discouraged. out. Yeah, you know what I mean? So when you put your all into it and you're ahead and then you come out and you dude, come up short, dude, it's, it's, it's... When you're in Mario Bros. shoes in a situation like this, you were so dominant for like five minutes. We, we were talking about how dominant Mario Three minutes, he didn't three, die. Three minutes, uh, he didn't die. And then to see this happen, that has to be serious mental damage. 
And um, Pikachu did us, uh, like I've said a few times, I think it's the most complicated matchup in this game. So it's not like like a Falcon Ditto where it's like there's like random 50 yeah, 50s. One person gets hit and it's over. Dude, yes. in a Pikachu Ditto, you have to continuously outplay your opponent. And we're seeing Alvin do it in Marwas. It's not like Marwas is some random player. This is one of the best this players is in the world. Marwas. And he's got to get four stock in a winner's final. Uh, three stocks, but uh, still. It, it, this isn't like, this isn't pool play. This is the winner finals of uh, the national tournament. Um, Alvin is just kind of like a whole different mindset. And he, right now he's got a whole different mindset than what he came in with uh, in the beginning of the pool. And you, you have to be feeling pretty good for Alvin right now. Because you're like, completely adapted and just reading this guy left and right. Smart for him not to go for the up tilt there. A lot of players in Marguerite's situation would have up tilted Alvin or tried to. Uh, but Pikachu players at this level of players are so good at uh, snagging that edge. Wow. <laughs> Some people in the crowd are like shaking their head like, well, what just happened? Marguerite's is a little lost right now. Honestly, I would be too. Um, that's crazy. Uh, I, all right, so you think that maybe a character change? I was thinking maybe Falcon, but you would keep calling. You said he's going to ride it out. And maybe Oh, uh, well, all right, so maybe Margot has accepted the fact that he might lose this match, right? Uh, and he's going to have to do a run through three losers. Um, so he might be getting all the all the data he can. Maybe he's just trying a bunch of different stuff right now. And if this doesn't work, he knows that in uh, potentially grand finals, he's like, okay, I'm not even going to try people, I'll just go Falcon. Yeah, um, exactly. Use this game as like a science experiment, yeah, a yeah, lab yeah, experiment. Yeah. And I think that's important, especially, well, I guess, it only really works in your in winners. And he, he can put all his cards on the table right now. Uh, and, if, and if it works out for him, then yeah, maybe in losers, try Pika. But um, if this doesn't work, I, I do suspect that if they do run into each other in this tournament, uh, Mario Goss will go Falcon. Or Kirby, or, or Mario, you know, uh, he yeah. has a bunch of different characters. Um, having said that, so does Alvin. So. Oh, that roll was absolutely an accident. That's a yeah. He was trying to punish that jab, trying to do something. So Alvin actually playing pretty well. Uh, I mean, excuse me, Mario was playing uh, pretty well in this game, but Alvin, it would even him up off one conversion. We were dead even just a moment ago until uh, Margos came in with his ability. Yeah, for sure. And Mitsubo is so strong in this game. Oh my god, dude, he got the wow, weak hit Wow, weak hit up smash in the back. A end. lot of players in the, in the situation Margos was just in. A lot of players would have went for a up air to back air. I think Margos moved it. He was right outside the percent window and just took the back air uh, edge guard. That was a really smart play by Margos. And that's something you really only see at a top level play. Knowing exactly when a combo won't work and acknowledging so not that. Doing it. And be like, okay, that's fine. I'm not going to go for that option. Um... That would be the craziest thing if uh, if Mario Watts does a turn and come back. <laughs> be so wild. Yeah, I would lose my marbles. Uh, oh, this little pin play by Mario is so good. I'm probably gonna do it. That's right. So, um, even game right here. Yeah, only separated by 30%. So. To be honest, a percent in this matchup is, is pretty big deal. It's something like a. It's something like Yoshi or Falcon where it's a lot of the deaths. Um, yeah. Every every hit in this match matters. Oh, but Alvin takes the Ooh. jump. Oh, what a conversion! This could be huge. Oh, dude, he wanted the tech in place so bad. Uh, that up smash is on there probably. Wow, that was that was a crazy stock by uh, Alvin. I think he should have maybe fared in the grab there. Uh, I think so too. He, uh, Pikachu can short hop from side to top, and uh, he can fair to grab him. So big mistake I play when I play Pikachu. I always like up air shield on the platform. Like, no, I got a bear. Yeah, uh, Pikachu is up air. Actually, doesn't have a lot of shields. Actually, yeah. Oh, what? Ooh, what? Wait, wait for the baby! Oh, but um, he messes bit and he shakes his head a little bit. Oh, wow. And Mario Ross, uh, I think messes that up here a little bit, but he's still uh, in the habitation position. Oh, what an up air by Alvin. I don't know what, what I don't know what Margos is trying to smash is, uh, but Margos yeah. even to back up. They they don't really look like hard reads either. Yeah, they might be tech guards. Um, sometimes with Pikachu you can try to up air and you're Ooh, that was a good double up B, but wow. he didn't get anywhere with uh, it. Margos on winner stock. Um, I'd like to see him taking more stock in you know even a game, but Alvin dude is just he's such a strong player. Ooh, uh, that usually works. That was, like, Mario or Alvin has to know the exact moment he got out of his son to like, escape that rise in there. That's usually pretty guaranteed. 
Oh, and Alvin wanted to roll in there, but Margoss wasn't giving it to him. Oh my god, Alvin whips, and uh, Margoss is able to get a punish. All right. Uh... Like you said, Margos is really, really good in Viper situations. Dude, getting these little uh, Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I didn't realize how good he was until you pointed out with it, because I have not seen him miss really anything like that. Yeah, he's super good in situations like that. And look look how Margos is staying in that position and not letting him get back for three. Of course, Alvin, a crazy good player, just got back. But still, uh, this is looking rough for Margos. Oh, and that back throw is going to do yeah, it. Yeah, he tried to look for that left oh, hand. Oh, what? Hole. No, that's crazy. Uh, he's living. We live in. Dude, we can air to, to up air. Oh, yeah. And Ooh, dude, out of reach. The most confident up smash I've ever seen. Yeah, that was. That was, uh, that was kind of a beat down. That was literally like, I hope you go up there and come back down so I can up smash. That's what it was. Dude, like. the craziest.